yet another installment, 9mm Ammo Quest. You can tell the, well, the pile is still pretty darn big, but it's getting smaller. We cleaned up uh, four rounds with the last test I did. We're going to do one round today, the Lehigh Defense Maximum Expansion. This one, my goodness, you guys have, have requested this. Maximum Expansion first came to my attention when I tested it in the 45 Colt version. The gigantic shape of the 45 Colt bullet it's designed specifically and only for the Taurus Judge or the uh, Smith & Wesson Governor because they have this super long chamber to handle the shot shell. So they made this gigantic bullet and they expanded to tremendous dimensions. One of the, one of the most impressive ammo tests that I've conducted was, was of these. Well, they also make the maximum expansion in other calibers and today we're testing 9mm and specifically from the 3-inch barrel. Now, the maximum expansion, part of, part of the design is just a gigantically open and deep hollow point cavity. It's an all copper bullet. And also, the pedals are, are actually cut all the way through. On the entire height of the bullet, you can see where the, the pedals have been cut out. And that's how far the, the pedals are going to fold back and how big the bullet's going to expand. I got to say, though, you look at the 45 Colt. And then you look at this little tiny 9mm next to it, it's obvious we cannot expect the same gigantic expansion that the 45 Colt did. There's just not enough metal there. 220 grains versus 105, I think it is. I mean, it's over twice as much metal and it's about twice the length. So we're not going to get the super expansion, but we are going to find out what we're going to get. And we're going to hold it to the standards that I've been testing all the defensive ammo to, which is from a three inch barrel. I'm trying to meet the FBI minimums, the modern standards that defensive ammo is designed to, to meet, which is through professional ballistic gelatin penetrating 12 to 18 inches, bare minimum of 12 with and without four layers of denim. So we may not get what the 45 Colt version did, but let's go find out what these maximum expansions can do in a nine millimeter pistol. Lehigh Maximum Expansion in 9mm. Results are okay. I had my concerns as to how far this would go because we're only talking about a 9mm. The bigger the bullet goes, the less it's going to penetrate, and you got to be careful with that. These bullets can expand pretty big, so I was wondering how the penetration would go, especially from the 3-inch barrel. And it's a little short for what I'm looking for. It's not bad. That's a little short, but there's concerns. So let's get to the numbers first. The shortest bullet came in at 9 inches. I don't like that. Uh, the standards that I follow call for a bare minimum of 12 inches through gel. We're not talking about through a body. Very few bodies are 12 inches deep, obviously. But the established standards call for a minimum of 12 to a maximum of 18 inches. And we only got 9 that doesn't mean it's a total failure. I mean, on a straight-on, unobstructed shot, 9 inches would be fine, but in general, you, you don't know which shot you're going to get is unobstructed, which one might be going through arms or the person being facing sideways or whatever, and, and when you'll need that penetration. So I'd like to see them all come through at least 12 inches, and we only have one that actually made that from here. So we've got one at 9 inches. The rest of them are all much better. The second one is 11 and a quarter. Then we had one at 11 and a half one at 11 and 3 quarters, and one at 12 inches. So four out of five are pretty good. So that still looks decent, except uh, as I look through the block and I look at the bullets, I can see that on at least two of them, some petals sheared off. And we'll get into more on that in the bullet exam, but uh, if the petals come off, that reduces the overall size, which makes sense why they would penetrate further, but then they're not that big of a bullet anymore. So. You know, the results were okay, pretty decent, but not the knockout blow that like we had when we tested this same basic ammo from that Taurus Judge and 45 Colt. First of all, the bare bullets, both of them sheared a pedal off. They both penetrated reasonably deep. One was 11 and a quarter and one was 12, but does it count? Because once that pedal breaks off, then the overall maximum size of the bullet isn't as big anymore. That's one reason why it could penetrate deeper. When we did denim, this one here expanded beautifully. It's probably the, the most uniform textbook version. Let's see that denim plug out of there. It also didn't go very far. That was nine inches. These other ones went further, but I don't know if you can really see it. And for example, these petals are bent further back. These ones are more horizontal 
So this is a bigger overall diameter, a maximum expansion. This one looks like the pedals were expanding and then they bent backwards. And so the overall size is not quite as big. This one is actually quite big and it went pretty deep. That went 11 and three quarters inches. So that was great. This one is a little bigger, but didn't go nearly as far as we want. So in general, it's okay. I'm worried about a bullet that would stop at nine inches when we really, really want to see a minimum of 12 and we've seen 12 inches from, from other bullets. So then I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about this because the point is to get the maximum expansion, right? And so I shot an HST from that same gun and it's almost as big. You know, the maximum expansion is a little bit wider on the pedals, but there's also the empty space in between, whereas this has that filled in. So overall, in terms of overall surface area, they're pretty comparable. So the HSTs go 14 to 15 inches. This one stopped at nine inches. So I'm not seeing it overly great from a three inch barrel. But because so, so many people are curious about this, I decided that to be fair to maximum expansion, I was going to test it from multiple barrels. So I tested from a three inch, four inch, and six inch in another block of gel. And so here's the results. You can see in the three inch, came in at about 11 inches, so quite comparable to what we were getting in the other gel. The four inch did much better. Look at this bullet, it's about 14 inches deep. Now I haven't cut in here to see exactly, you know, if all the pedals stayed attached or whatever, but the four inch uh, looks like a very solid contender. Four inch barrel, we got over 14 inches of penetration out of that. The six inch, unfortunately, I had a six inch barrel gun. I can't show you the results to that because it over penetrated the block and it was lost. But I can show you that in the damage track, I can see some chunks. It looks like the pedals stripped off and that would make sense as to why it was able to penetrate deeper than if it didn't have the pedals, then it's just a little small bullet and it would have really over penetrated. So this is what I got from the three inch, very comparable. And this one went 11 inches. This is what I got from the four inch barrel. If you can tell, the pedals are definitely bent way back and that penetrated much deeper. That went to 14 and a half inches. That was a fantastic performer. The overall size is about the same as the HST though. So from the six inch barrel, all I found was the three pedals. The bullet over penetrated the gel block entirely. And, and you can understand, you know, if you broke off three of these pedals, you'd have a pretty small bullet base and, and so that would go through. So from a three inch gun, it's good, it's okay. It's definitely not one of my top rounds though. When an HST will go 14, 15 inches, uh, the potential of it stopping at nine or 11 doesn't make me that happy with it. Uh, but from a four inch gun, it was a great performer. If you're gonna use nine millimeter maximum expansion, that's my recommendation, the four inch full size gun is the way to go. If you got a long barrel like the six inch, like I had, this is not the right ammo for you. Penetration was low. Uh, we didn't really hit the numbers that I was looking for. Uh, and one bullet came in at nine inches and that's really short. It, it's not like that's gonna bounce off you obviously, but when we're looking at ballistic gel, the people who have done the the testing on this and, and set the standards, they set the minimum at 12 inches. We've had other ammo meet and exceed 12 inches consistently. So I'm less in a mood to, to go entertaining rounds that don't meet that standard, but they came close. To be fair, they actually penetrated better than the 45 Colt version did. The bigger a bullet expands, the less it will usually penetrate. Understanding that, they did penetrate better than the 45 Colt version did, but the 45 Colt version was so gigantic and so much bigger than other bullets, comparable bullets would be. Uh, I tested an HST in 45 ACP, and the 45 Colt version of maximum expansion was as almost as big as four HSTs would have been. But with the nine millimeter, it's about the same size as, as one. So there's not really an expansion difference. The penetration wasn't as good, 
when I launched it from the 4-inch gun, the penetration was much better. Much better. Still, the size is about comparable, but it was a great, great performer from the 4-inch gun. Uh, the 6-inch barrel, it ripped apart. So you end up with not as much expansion. And in fact, in the 3-inch barrel, we lost a few pedals. And, and those bullets did penetrate deeper, but it's not as big anymore. So you're losing the expansion advantage. So these bullets are going to hurt. You get hit with one of these, it's still a big bullet. It's still moving fast. It's still going to cut a hole through whatever target it hits. It's just not like the 45 Colt version. It's not this big standout, super amazing, oh my gosh, look at this round. This is this is the greatest self-defense round ever. It, it's not that. It's comparable in performance to good ammo. Uh, and if you want a lead-free bullet, that's a pretty good choice. I Personally, I would go with the Corbon DPX or the Black Hills 115 plus P version of the Barnes bullet. It's an all copper bullet and they deliver better performance from the three inch barrel. This is a good choice from the four inch barrel though. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified when the next video is posted.